National Park Service Arrowhead logo, on-screen text, Lake Clark National Park and Preserve. Into the Vault, NPS Museum Collections 101. A woman pushes a wheeled step ladder into a row of museum storage cabinets. She climbs a ladder, pulls out a drawer, and opens a bag. On screen text, Denna in a animal snares. A woman faces us and stands in an aisle of shelves full of file boxes. She holds white gloved hands together and gestures toward boxes and stringed objects in front of her. On screen text, Katie Myers, NPS Museum Curator. Lake Clark, Katmai, and Iakchak, Alagnak. Hi, my name is Katie Myers, and I'm the museum curator for four Alaska National Parks, including Lake Clark National Park and Preserve. And today, we're in the Alaska Regional Curatorial Center. Katie picks up the box of stringed objects. We're going to be talking about ethnographic objects, these bird snares from Lake Clark. On-screen text, what are they made of? These snares were made out of bird feather shafts, sinew, and wood. Katie holds a stringed object in the palm of her hand and gestures with her other pinky finger. They were used by Denida women and girls to snare birds like ptarmigan and grouse as well as other small mammals like ground squirrels and rabbits. On screen text, when were these snares used? During the fall hunting season, Denida families would go into the mountains to hunt. A photo of six looped animal snares on a white backdrop. And while the men were hunting big game like caribou and moose, the women and girls would snare for small game and birds with these. On screen text, why is hunting important for Denna and a families? Hunting wasn't always about meat. Of course, when people use snares like this, they would eat the meat, but they also use the fur for garments to keep warm. On screen text, why was hunting important for Denna and a women? Not only did young Denina girls learn how to use snares like these from their female relatives, but they also learned how to use rifles, shotguns, and other traps so they wouldn't be dependent upon males for the procurement of food and other resources. A photo of an elder woman in a blue jacket and tinted glasses holds a snare next to a mound of grassy soil. On screen text, Mary Hobson, Lime Village and Nundalton Elder. Although there are some people that are alive today that remember hunting with bird snares such as these, a vast majority of Denina people do not hunt in this manner anymore. So by saving these snares in a museum collection like Lake Clark's, we're helping to preserve this story. A photo of the snare attached to an exposed tree branch in the soil. On screen text, putting the snare in place. On screen text, thanks for watching. Until next time. We're closing the vault. Katie turns a lock on a large sliding door. The door closes. National Park Service Arrowhead logo. On screen text. NPS.gov slash Lake Clark.